Um, and so with that, I wanted to move into setting the stage a little bit in terms of um, why we need Black history in every classroom and uh, what is what is the context that we find ourselves in? It's not lost on you all, I'm sure. Um, what is going on within our country? And we are finding ourselves, particularly with our middle and high school learners, to be some of the most socially conscious and activist inclined student populations in recent history. Um, as Caitlin referenced a little bit earlier, tomorrow we are celebrating um, the March on Washington. And it has been since that point in time that we have been looking for and finding a generation of students who are able to organize, who know how to amplify their messages on social media now that um, that is a platform by which they can use and also care deeply about um, the larger ecosystem that they find themselves in. And so it's not just an individualistic view of how am I directly impacted, but we find as you look across all of these headlines that students are organizing, they're demanding, um, they're willing to protest and walk out on behalf of the greater good. Um, and as I pulled together this slide and thought about the different ways that students are investing for advocacy and policy change. Um, I can only imagine if I step back into my 16 year old self and leading our cultural awareness task force, how much more sophisticated today's student is when it comes to understanding not only systemic inequities, but then also how they manifest in present day. And so again, as you look across this side, you see time and again um, that students are socially conscious. They are willing to step forward um, for the causes that they care about. And they're thinking about that through an intersectional and diverse lens. 